who is this rocket man? Like, I call him a rocket man because so far, that is what it truly is with all of this I am seeing right now. Hello, amazing people. Welcome back to Airborne People TV, your go to sport for all things exciting and innovative. Today, we've got something really special. As always, trust me, you don't want to miss this. We are talking about an incredible achievement by a fellow Nigerian, and not just a Nigerian, an Igbo brother at that, who just did something no one else has ever done in Africa. Africa. We are about to introduce you to Nigeria's rocket man. Yes, I'm calling him that because that's who he truly is. Meet Zikorachi Abara, or Ziko as his friends call him. He's the founder and managing director of Zedora Industrial Limited, based in Eboin State, Nigeria. Ziko is not your everyday engineer. He's a full-blown tech genius, from creating portable power stations under the brand Zedron to battery-powered clothing irons and even classic classified security products, this guy is putting a Boeing state and Nigeria on the global map. And guess what? It's just done. Zico has developed Africa's first turbojet engine. Can you believe it? It's called the Mark III turbojet engine and it's a game changer. This is something that many countries around the world dream of achieving. But here we are, Nigeria is leading the way thanks to this brilliant mind. Now, let's talk about the big moment, the presentation of this masterpiece. Zico and his team were at the National Defense College in Abuja, sometimes last week, where they presented the Mark III turbojet engine prototype and get this, it was just so loud and terrifying that people were actually shaking. They had to shut it down at several intervals just to keep everyone calm. It was really wild. But who was in the room for this grand presentation? Like who were the people who were present? None other than the Minister of Defense, Honorable Mohamed Badaru, the Minister of Science and and Technology, Honorable Uche Naji, and even the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa. Yeah, it was really a big deal, not to mention other members of the military. The executive arm of government, international allies, and well-wishers were all there to witness history in the making. And you know what? We've got a clip of that moment. It's a quick compilation of the presentation where you can see our own very Zico turbo jet engine in action. The roar of of this engine is something else but don't just take my word for it watch the full video and let us know if you'd stay in this environment with that kind of sound listening to how loud the engine is i can only imagine what it was like being there in person and no time for personal protective equipment as he stated everything happened so fast zico and his team just pulled off like pros now with this turbo jet engine project making headlines there's a lot of buzz around zedora aerospace systems the big question Zico is asking is well wishers now is, should we make this company public so that all Nigerians can invest in it? What do you all think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Should Zedora go public or stay private? This is indeed a huge leap for Nigeria and Africa as a whole. I mean, just think about it. Africa's first turbojet engine made right here in Ebony State by one of our very own. And this is just the beginning. Zedora Industrial Limited, under Zico's leadership, is making strides not just in the tech world but now in aerospace development. Imagine what this could mean for the future of aviation and defense in Nigeria. The opportunities are just so endless. Can we take a moment to appreciate that all of this is happening in Eboin State? Yes, Eboin. From portable power stations to battery-powered clothing irons and now a turbo -gent engine. Everything made in Eboin State. This is what we mean when we talk about made in Nigeria and the future of innovation on the continent. Zico has made us proud as Nigerians and especially as Igos. We can't wait to see what the future holds for Zedora and its turbojet engine project. But we want to hear from you. Do you think Zico deserves the title Nigeria's Rocket Man? And should Zedora go public? Let's get the conversation going in the comments. <laughs>
This is a turbo jet engine. We built from scratch, made in Nigeria, everything. You can see the welding. It's pretty basic because we have to do everything with uh, bigger tools. So basically it's a turbo jet engine that powers uh, fighter jets, which it needs more advancements, but with time we just came to display its functionality. So that's basically how it works. Right on after Panamu, but if you permit us, we can run it again at full power. <laughs> One name, Kedo. Oga na yakita bu oga oraka. Eba ni ewe terunu oraka di chichen kane mepota na libo. No budgeta no be voice of the east. Ega ni ewe pakarita oka. Aina ziko abara. Oye ne ji teknozu di chiche e mepota ye di chiche. Iji na kwalite ali wanya. Genon te dika kane ku maka oraka. Oye ne ewe terunu oze abu wada ozamaka. One name Ziko Abara. No, the kiss is bad. Kuta no be voice of the ease. Makaura ka in the meputa. Dalu. I'm a kwam need them ma. Asa kam kam jogi. Kedo. <laughs> Odima. 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 Ima eh. Mbali na nama adu. Mbali na mwa afai na ye project. Mm. Iji laptop na aror. Ino kata no laptop ano. Mbali na astro mwemse. Ebe mwere power bank na da charge phone mwonyo. Mm. E mwuri ki me pota kwa ni he di ka power bank a geji charge a laptop. Mwen na aju, o di ka hiya, o mwuri ki e di. Yo e rotu bwa chino na aga, na e kiri he na mbamba sozi nke ex. O fu, i he me pota la. Power bank e ja charge a laptop. Mwuri si hea, o nye bo nye a mene he nka. Ya mwen ja si no bwa chita, o nye bo zika ba. Ya chon ki kwa nde madu, o nye zika wa bara bo. O mwuri ni nda lo. Afambo Zigzion Abara. <laughs>